Hello Lagos, good afternoon. I am Sandra Ezekwesili and these are your hard facts. First hard fact of the day, 13 more days until the end of PVC collection. So please make the time to go and pick up your PVC. You have 13 more days to do it. I know that it's been difficult in some places, but please, please, please... Go and pick up your PVC. Do your best to do it. Uh, we've been covering the problems here on the show. Um, some people are complaining about long queues and delays. But in some other places, it's been really straightforward. In fact, the problem is if... <laughs> is that people are not coming to pick up their PVCs, um, you know, in, 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 in several parts of Lagos, really. So please go and pick it up. It's now at your wards and it's going to be on, at your wards until the 15th of um, uh, this month. And then it will go back to the local government areas. Second hard fact of the day, the CBN's new cash uh, restrictions have gone into effect today. It started today. So over-the-counter cash withdrawals limits are 500,000 for individuals and uh, 5 million naira for organizations. And the ATMs are not supposed to dispense more than 200 naira, I believe, at a time, like 200 naira notes at a time. And then you get 20,000 naira per day. Now, of course, you can still make transfers and still use your cards for transactions. We still don't have clarification about whether or not when you go to purchase something with your card uh, in a supermarket, uh, it will be flagged as, oh, did you just purchase something? Did you just get the money out or is this a POS transaction? All of that has still not been clarified one way or the other, but it all goes into effect today. If you are tuning into this show for the first time, you're in great company. You're here alongside One Million Negotiations. Let's talk about the abduction of train passengers. You know, it's the biggest story that broke over the weekend. Then let's talk about Yoruba Nation agitators clashing in Ojota. And then let's talk about Festus Keamo's appearance on the morning crossfire. Uh, if you haven't heard that interview, I recommend that you go check it out on our website. Our website is nigeriainfo.fm. The video is still up on Facebook and YouTube. You can watch it for yourself. Chukwudi will bring you Checkpoint at 4 o'clock. And on today's Big Hard Fact, let's talk about a very disturbing pregnancy scam. There are fake fertility experts who are allegedly creating false pregnancy symptoms in women as a front for baby factories. Sometimes the women are aware of what's happening. Sometimes the women are not aware. FIJ published a report on it, and I'll be talking to them at 5 p.m. Don't miss that conversation. It's, it's really explosive. As usual, we'll have news updates at the top of the hour, every hour. But let's get into today's Big Three. I'm Sandra Ezekwesi Lagos. These are your hard facts. The Big, the big Weekend. Can the security agencies actually keep the railways safe? Why did the Yoruba Nation rally turn violent? Did Festus Kayamo answer Sheriff's questions to your satisfaction this morning? It was a big weekend, Lagos, let's talk. Uh, we've had yet another train attack leading to yet another mass abduction. This time the terrorists uh, struck in Edo State at um, the train station in Igwebe. Uh, it's on the Itakwe Wari line and it links uh, some parts of the south-south. Now we're still counting the costs, but at least 32 people were taking. Some were passengers, some were railway corporation staff, others may have just been at the station like traders or Okada riders. Uh, police say that they've captured one suspect. If this is true, hopefully uh, it will lead to some actionable intelligence. But um, even if it does, there, there are questions about what the authorities can do, you know, if they couldn't keep the kidnappers, uh, if, 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 if they couldn't keep the, keep the kidnappers at bay, if they, if, they, if they couldn't stop the kidnappers right away, what can they do, you know? So, for example, we know that many of the Abuja Kaduna victims were released by ransom. And at the time, uh, Kaduna Governor El Rufai said that um, even though they know uh, uh, where the hideouts are, they couldn't make re rescue attempts because it could put the passengers in danger. 
you know so are we gonna have the same situation here uh are we gonna have a, a quicker response time I, I i will say that um the fact that a, a suspect has allegedly been arrested by the police uh is remarkably different uh, a response than what we saw with the abuja kaduna train attack but um <sighs> last last we we have to ask if if the railways are safe you know we've We've seen terrorists attack stations. We've seen them attack trains between stations. In both situations, the reaction uh, from the police and the military has been slow. But uh, do you think that the government has the capacity to keep the railway safe? I think that's the big question on my mind. Maybe you have other questions on your mind. Women call us on 01465 7190. 01465 7190. Men call us on 0700 993 993 993. 0700 993 993 993. Hello, thanks for calling us. Hello. Hello. All right, we don't have that anyone there. 99.3. Good afternoon, Sandra. Good afternoon. What's your name, sir? Lucky Lola from Magbo. Welcome, Lucky. Yes, it has happened again, you know, and this time is in Nedu. These people no longer stop, you know, and take the chicken one after the other. They go straight to the poultry and pack the chicken one at a time. Sandra, what an F country. Honestly speaking, I'm getting tired of this whole Nigeria wala. But one thing I will tell those who are, you know, Supporting this administration, if this heaven should fall today, it's not only on one person said do. Take it away, Sandra. All right, thank you, Lucky, for for calling. Ninety nine point three. Hello. Sorry about that. Give us a call back if you can. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, Sandra. Good afternoon, sir. What's your name? Uh, yeah, Emmanuel on the line. Welcome, Emmanuel. Oh. Uh, for the immediate solution on this insecurity, mm -hmm. I don't really know because, to be honest with you, our security services, you know, they try, yeah, it's like their best, according to their best. Mm. My own long term solution should be education. Education, education, and education. I've been shouting this for a while now. Uh, about 20 million children out of school. I don't know how the future of Nigeria is looking like presently. Well, for those who can look at the crystal ball, I, it's not looking good for us at all. If you have big houses, fence, uh, I mean, the fence are higher than the houses itself. In the next 10, 20 years, that won't secure you. All right. Thanks for calling us. 99.3. Hello. Hi, how are you? What's your name, ma'am? Yeah, my name is Joy. Hi, Joy. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, so um, I'm calling in respect to um, the collection of uh, PVC. And I have some couple of people that, you know, people are calling to complain that um, when you go to collect, they, they deny you, you know, and now you also said that they are saying people are not coming to collect their PVC. Mm -hmm. Sandra, my friend, my colleague, mm. she went, she was telling me this morning when we were in the office mm. right now, she was telling me, she said yesterday that Joy, she tried she tried, she went to Oshodi Sono to get her PVC. Mm. That do you know that you, you, when, when you come, that what she noticed that they try to frustrate people okay. not to give non indigen their PVCs. Okay. That so many people were going to present, you know, when you present your, I think your name or so, mm. they will tell you it's not there. Mm. Those that same person will call, go back again. Some people mm. represented their their names like three times. Mm. The people that were telling that their PVCs are not there, mm. we need to go back and give them their PVC. Mm. So why are they frustrating people from collecting their PVCs? And they still later come back to tell you that people are not coming to collect their PVC. Like Nash like, like, like was telling me, that job, me, I'm tired. I said, please, just go. Go. At least tomorrow. She said, okay. That she's going to try. Over the weekend again, mm. she'll try to see if she'll go to collect it. Mm. So you see the problem. I don't know what is going on. I don't know. You know, if INEC is going, I just don't know what is happening. Mm. How INEC is going to do this so that people can be able to get their PVCs. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people are there. Somebody will be online, you wait when it gets your turn, they will tell you your PVC is not available. Mm. You have, go back again and present. 
and that same person telling you that is not there will still come back and tell you have your PVC. Hmm. So what are we going to do concerning this? It's it's it is very uh, it is very suspect. I, I'm not I'm not even going to lie. It's, it's very suspicious. Um, but uh, it's like I always say, it could be down to incompetence. You know, it could it could simply be down to incompetence. You know, someone who's lazy, terrible at their job, simply doesn't want to go through the the trouble of finding your PVC, and then we we'll just go in there and come and say, oh, it's not there. You know, or it could also be malicious. The person is looking for a bribe. He's looking for a way to extort you. You know, it's not necessarily that oh, INEC is doing this. It's that you know you have uh, um, these characters who are. Um, a set who have an incentive who who have an incentive to you know or who have no incentive let me, let me frame it like that they, they have no incentive to do their jobs uh, uh, um, right that's not to say of course that there's nothing going on but I don't have the data to show me that INEC is in on this because every time you speak with INEC INEC is very surprised to hear this makes all the right noises about oh they're going to look into it they're going to try and solve that problem so it doesn't look to me like INEC itself it's involved but you know keep talking about it eventually yeah you go you go work out <laughs> okay um speaking of working out a Yoruba nation rally in Ojota today ended uh, in bloodshed at least one person was killed when shooting broke out at the rally uh, we don't have confirmation about who was shooting who, but there seems to have been a clash between supporters of OPC and supporters of Yoruba Nation. Uh, the police showed up, used tear gas to disperse the crowd, um, and uh, it was a, bi a bit chaotic for a while there this morning in Ojota. I think the last time Yoruba Nation planned a massive rally, it was the police who shot at them. This time, they seem to be clashing with OPC. And I need to ask what it is about this group that brings out so much um, hostility here in Lagos. Is it because they're calling for self-determination? Is it because of the personalities involved? Is there a beef, maybe, between the leaders of Yoruba Nation and the leaders of other groups? Are there political undertones to all of this? I don't know. Those of you who are grassroots people, tell me what you know. And then if you're in Ojota, what's the current situation in Ojota at the moment? If you've been around Ojota today, uh, is the area calm now? Um, uh, has sanity returned? How's traffic in that area? What's happening there now? And why do the activities of Yoruba Nation in Lagos lead to so much hostility? 0700-993-993-993. Hello. 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 Thank you for calling. Yeah. What's your name, I, sir? I want to give you information about the PVC. Okay, PVC. Go ahead. I, I keep my name. I don't want to mention because I went there yesterday. Where? Uh, somewhere in Lagos. No, you can't do that. If, if you're gonna if you're gonna give me information, you have to give me full in information. Bedroom. Where in the bedroom? Uh, the main bedroom, like where they are collecting. Where? Eleko side. Eleko side, okay. So, so the Eleko ward, is that is it the ward you went to? Is it the local government? It's the local government where you have the main Eleko. And you went there yesterday? I went there yesterday. They told me uh, somebody signed for my own TV. Okay. So I asked them to check. No, now one part. Sir, you're going to have to give us a call back. You seem to be really distracted, and you also don't seem to give me a lot of information that I can actually work with. 99.3, hello. Hello. Thanks for calling. Good afternoon. Good, good, afternoon. good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. Yeah, I want to talk about PVC collection. Yes, please. Go ahead. My name is Anne. Anne, welcome. Yeah, I used to be at Makoko, but now I'm at Koka Orile. Okay. So, yesterday... At the uh, Ilewe bus stop at Orile, mm. you know, mm. they were collecting PVC at uh, Ilewe bus stop from our school there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was smooth and free. Okay. You go there, you collect your PVC. Mm -hmm. One man collected his own and came to where I was working and told us. And then I went there. I just stood there watching them. So it was smooth and peaceful. You come there, they search for your PVC and they gave you. Mm. So people complain about this PVC. I don't think they have gone. 
okay. to collect their PVC. People endeavor to go and collect their PVC. Because I like they are giving their PVC now. Mm. So people should go and collect their PVC. I have mine already. I registered in 2011. Okay. So I have no problem with PVC. Okay. I'm a PVC. Okay. All right. Thank you, Anne, for calling. 99.3. Hello. 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 Thanks for calling. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome. What's your name, ma'am? Happy New Year, ma. Happy New Year, ma. What's your name? I'm a first time caller. I'm Chinasa. Chinasa, welcome. Good to have you here. Yeah. Auntie Sandra, please. Mm. I want to complain something to you. What's that? So I want to send. I was duped. So I want to send the details of how the message, how we interacted. I interacted with the guy. I didn't know that he can do such a thing. So I want to send the message to you. So that you read it on your WhatsApp. Then you, you tell me what to do. True. Okay. I send it to the WhatsApp. I don't know the WhatsApp. The WhatsApp is 080. Okay. Are you there? Yeah, 080. 080. Yes. Uh, 959. 959. 75. 75. 805, I think. I'm not yes. sure. I think. <laughs> you, you think? <laughs> I think. I'm going to confirm and call it again. So keep listening, okay? Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Keep listening. Thank you, Thank you very much for calling. We've got uh, Tony on the line. Hi, Tony. Good to have you on, sh on the show. Yeah, good afternoon, Madam Sandra. Good afternoon to you, sir. Yeah, um, can I speak on uh, Kayamo's... Um... Interview in the morning? Sure, go ahead. Yeah. Yes, please, go ahead. So... Uh, my all my problem with that if this um APC government or Tinubu administration if they are elected you the media I think you guys need to brace up okay because like you said they don't really they don't see you guys as important and I don't think there's any nation that is successful without like the media because it seems they don't want to be scrutinized at all. And then there's something that strikes me. Whenever they talk about insecurity, the first country they will give you the example is America. They will tell you, oh, in America, there's gun violence. See, it is different. There are reasons for this gun violence. They are talking as if we are fools that we don't know what's really going on with the American gun violence. Mm. It's different from the insecurity in Nigeria. Sandra, mm. you can close 3 a.m. from work here and you walk to your house. Mm -hmm. 3 a.m., 2 a.m. You can even sleep without your door, without your door being locked. Can we try that in Nigeria? These people complain about um, equipment. Okay, you guys got the equipment because Sheriff was saying, okay, they've been pampering. Were they not pampering? How long did it take the government for even declaring them as terrorists? Even the National Assembly were shouting. And then you talk as if we don't know what we are saying. I just see Nigerians should just vote wisely because, see, the politicians that will lose, they will not suffer the pain. It is the electorate, it is that woman under the bridge waking up in the morning that will suffer for it. So if they like, they should sell their votes and vote all in the name of tribe and whatever. All right. Thank you very much for calling, Tony. We've got messages on WhatsApp. Let me take a look. Uh, this one says, Sandra, I just passed through Ojota now. There's calm at Ojota now. That's Joel from Ojudu Bega with that message there. Joel, thank you so much for your message. We'll take a break. When we come back from this break, let's uh, go back to the morning crossfire today and uh, take a look at some of the things that Festus Kayamu said when he was on the show with Sheriff Quadri this morning. And then, of course, you will tell me your thoughts on that interview. I still want to hear more about your PVC collection experiences. Some people say it's complicated. Some people say it's pretty straightforward. Whatever your experience has been, I want to hear it. I'm Sandra Ezekwesli. You're listening to Hard Facts on 99.3 Nigeria Info. We're going to be back in two minutes. Don't go away. And coming up, we'll be back in a moment.
know, you want to spin a narrative to Nigeria. I do not need only the authors. You are spinning it. No, you 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 I said you do I not repeat. need the. I do not need only the orthodox media. I do not. I need every means by which to reach Nigerians, and the orthodox media does not no longer controls the the avenue by which I reach Nigerians. Mm. And I repeat it a thousand times. All right, and that is the, that is a fact. It's uh, a fact. We we respect the fact that your candidate said the media wanted to use him to make money because he's a marketable person. We did not say so. He was talking about a particular <laughs> station that is a private station. Organizing, organizing a debate, and we know, of course, that that station has anchors that are purely that are political, carrying members of other political parties. The anchors, all and of the, like you all of the there, anchors. They are card carrying members. My brother, I'm just being honest with you, and you know that. You know that card carrying members of other political parties. <laughs> Now, of course, uh, Tinubu did say that the media wanted to use him to make money because he's very marketable. Let me play the moment that Tinubu made that exact statement at uh, Chatham House last year. I see myself as a marketable individual. <laughs> Want to use me to make money? And I'm saying no. That's what he said, and he was not talking about a specific media house. He was asked a question about why he wasn't going to town halls or debates, and his response was... ...individual. <laughs> Want to use me to make money, and I'm saying no. Okay. Now, Sharif and uh, Fesus Kayamo also had this conversation. The um, APC, PCC, and we've been talking about the APC campaign and um, the surrounding issues. Um, I start. thank you so much for joining us again um, this morning on the program. Thank you, my brother. Uh, you're responding to the um, callers, uh, and we, we, we want to... Um, Lucky Lola, the last caller, was talking about your um, candidates. Yes, I, I was just saying that... Um, appealing to him and to some other Nigerians too, who tend to believe some of these um, statements that are not true or some of these lies, to put it uh, as uh, plainly as I, I can, as I can, that uh, these things are not true. Uh, we are not God. They said the same thing about uh, Buhari in 2015, if you remember. There was even somebody who went to take an advert at that time and put a skeleton in front of the ad on the front on the front page of a new national newspaper, say depicting the skeleton as a Buhari that Buhari will not survive mm. in power. Mm. Now Buhari is even is finishing his eight years and is even looking stronger than many people who are much younger than him. So my appeal to this kind of Nigerians who believe such you know untruths is that they should know that we cannot play God. We cannot play God as uh, human beings. I made an example a few weeks, a few days ago, at some other station, I, I mentioned uh, Morgan Svangarai. Morgan Svangarai was the opposition leader in Zimbabwe mm. a few years ago. He was much younger, more fitter than Robert Mugabe, who was in power then. It was, it was his campaign point at that time to the Zimbabweans that Robert Mugabe was too old, he was not going to live too long, and that people should support him because he's a much younger person. Mm. But guess what? Morgan Svangarai died long before Mugabe died, uh, exited power, mm. and then, you know, finally died. Mm. So that is what we are saying, that people should not play God in matters of health. People should not. Mm. A candidate, like everybody has seen, is going from place to place. There's nothing wrong with him. He has not collapsed. He has not fainted. So this notion of where that he's sick is not fit, we don't know where the idea is coming from. We have no, no, no knowledge of where this is coming from. Mm. So we continue to appeal to Nigerians not to listen to such things that are not true. Fesus Kayamo speaking with Sheriff Gordry on the Morning Crossfire. Catch the Morning Crossfire weekdays from 5 a.m. Did you watch the full interview? Did you listen to the full interview? What were your impressions? Did you agree or disagree with the answers that uh, Fesus Kayamo gave to Sheriff? Which of the answers did you agree with? Agree, agree with? Which of the answers did you disagree with? Uh, give me a call on 0146. Seven one nine zero. If you're a woman, if you're a man, call me on zero seven zero zero nine nine three nine nine three nine nine three.
You can also share your thoughts on WhatsApp. Yes, I was right. WhatsApp is uh, 80 959 hello. Hello, Sandra. Good evening. Good evening. What's your name, ma'am? Is happiness from Ikurudu. Welcome, happiness from Ikurudu. Yeah. Sir, Sandra, I listen to Sherry's in the morning, no? Okay. Honestly, that one came to shout at all of us. Mm. Both Sherry's and, uh, Sherry and all of us, he was just shouting. Shouting. That's no interview now. Mm. Uh, so when they enter power, that's how they be shouting at all of us. Mba, no. Sandra, no, 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 no. Enjoy your day, oh. Enjoy your day, happiness. I love how she calls and keeps it very short. 99.3. Sandra. Ma. Mm. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, we, have, we have to know anyone. Shall I good everything? All, happy all, New Year. All join. Happy New Year. What's your name, ma'am? So, my name is Elizabeth. Welcome, Elizabeth. Ikurudu. Welcome. Mm. <laughs> this sister's care, mm. I beg, I don't got business with them, I beg. Okay. So, my business is mm. to tell you mm. my waka today mm. concerning PVC. Wait till you waka. So, waka rebu. Just me, just me. So, at the front of my office, mm-hmm is the place or the designated um, area where I'm supposed to go collect my PVC. Mm. I went there. Mm. On getting there, they told me that the PVC is in there. I should go to the INEC office. Mm-hmm. I got to the INEC office. They didn't want to allow me to enter. Mm. The security men were like, you cannot enter. We are not allowing anybody. I was like, but I was told to come here. Mm. So finally, mm-hmm. they allowed me to enter. I now entered. Mm-hmm. Do you know, I'm a visually impaired person. Okay. The person who entered with me mm. is hearing impaired. Okay. Now, let me describe distance first before I go to the major topic. So, the distance from the gate mm. to the major INEC office, Gong Gong, mm-hmm. ah, I don't even know how to. It's like from Ligali Ayoride mm. to uh, Sakatinumbu. Wow. I'm te- I was so pissed. Eh? I, I'm serious. That's foul. You can do for that matter. Hey. So as if I was going to Ogun State. That's foul. Ogun. So let me now just you now. So when I got there, mm. I now greeted. I said, oh, sorry, good morning, please. I came here for my card. You mm. know, they didn't even answer me. Mm. Then the um, person, that person that assisted me, you know, I said the person is hearing, hearing impaired. impaired. Yes. The person was also trying to complain to them mm-hmm. about his own issue. Mm-hmm. Then somebody was now like, ah. How are we going to tell this person to write his information down so that when we get anything, we can call him or tell mm, him or mm, something? Mm, mm. And, you know, I told you that there were three police officers. Mm-hmm, there. Mm-hmm. It was not even any of the police officers that was asking the question and trying to make will because the person asking himself is finding it hard to use the sign language. Mm. Then that police officer now started shouting. Ah, hey, let me say the way he said it in Yoruba. Mm, mm. Hey, 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 don't talk to them, oh. Don't talk to them because as they are like that, they are very wicked. Uh-uh. And that was how that person that was trying to attend to the uh, person with hearing impaired mm-hmm. Sean went to sit down and uh-uh. was looking. Uh-uh. Me, I was standing. They didn't attend to me. They didn't attend to the guy. Then I now called the lady and said, come, excuse me. This person doesn't even have any issues with you. Uh-uh. You don't even know this person from anywhere. And then you have concluded that the person is Burugon. The person is wicked. Uh-uh. What makes you say this person is wicked? Uh-uh. He didn't answer me. The person, the hearing impaired person, when they didn't answer him, now he left. Me, I won't go. You must give me a response. Okay. I stayed there. For more than one hour, they didn't attend to me. So I now called them. I said, ah, but I've been standing here since so. So is anybody not going to attend to me or what? Mm. At the end of the day, they now came and said, eh, when we do, eh, what are, eh, so, eh, 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 so what are we now going to do now, now that you are now here? What do you mean by said, that? Ah, what are you going to do? How? I'm telling you the thing that is, I was told at the place I'm supposed to collect the PVC. Mm-hmm. And this, if you are going to calm me down and say it's not ready, just give me something mm-hmm. that I can hold on to. Just tell me something. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know what to tell you now. Okay. I turned my back. Then I said, before I will go, these police officers must know that they've done something that really hurts me. Then mm-hmm. I turned. I told her, oh, let me tell you something. You don't have to talk to persons with disability like that. I wish that that guy could hear what you were saying. The two of you, you will dig it out today. Please, I beg. I, I'm, I'm just pleased. When police officers are addressing people like that, fallacy mm-hmm. of safety generalization, mm-hmm. then how will somebody who doesn't even have or who is not even supposed to have an idea mm-hmm. of how to attend to persons with disabilities, how does that person now attend to somebody? Mm-hmm. 
I'm 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 so pleased. I'm really like, like, I'm really like, sorry like, that you experienced that. You you really shouldn't have. And I and INEC has talked a big game about how they have provisions for persons living with disabilities. Yeah. Well, so it's it, it, <laughs> it's really disappointing to hear to hear this experience. So you're saying that you you ended up not collecting your card? I don't even have a card now. Then I said, what am I going to do? They were looking at me. Then when I was when they were tired of seeing their faces and the anger was too much, I mm. just took bike. In fact, while I while I was coming, so the bike now hit me somewhere and scratched my oh, leg. In fact, annoyance number two. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. This happened where? In Ikorodu, yes? Yes, yeah, so it could do just today, like this. So, so you went, I mean, so you went to the INEC office, but you know that they now started collecting from ward. So maybe it's your ward you I should have gone to. I went to the ward. I mm. said the ward is opposite my office. Mm. I went there. Mm-hmm, they mm-hmm. told me they don't have it. I should that go, you should to, go the to the INEC main office. office, and then so the main office I people now started discriminating. That was where I said all that I just narrated. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But um, are you gonna try again? I'll keep trying because they will know that they have somebody on their hands, like okay. I said. Okay, that's the spirit. I'm sorry about your experience. Thank you for calling to share with me. 99.3, hello. 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 Thanks for calling. What's your name, sir? My name is Edu Vincent. I am calling from uh, Aja. Vincent, welcome. Um, you know, somebody, uh, there are two complaints about uh, do this uh, PVC of the thing, two mm. different complaints. Okay. Uh, one said it's easier to collect. There are those people who are saying that they find it difficult to collect. They mm. are telling lies. Maybe they did not go. Mm. You can't just judge somebody from your own point. You don't know what another person, maybe you are in Aja mm. and somebody is in, uh, in Kurudu. What mm. is happening in Kurudu is different from what is happening in Aja. Mm-hmm. Sure, you understand. Mm-hmm. Now, the other person said it's difficult. Mm. Okay. And uh, there was a question I was expecting you to ask the two of them. Because th- here in Lagos, mostly in Lagos, it's very difficult to collect your PVC when you are not a Yoruba speaking person. They are very, very travelistic about it. Take it or you leave it. Well, but, I, but I've had a number. That, but I've, but, me, when but, but I've had, but I've had, but I've Yoruba, had, a, excuse, wait, I've wait, had a number of people call wait, that are non Yoruba who have learn, collected their PVCs. When they that you are not, if you go there, see, bet me, if you go there no. and you greet them in Yoruba, you start speaking Yoruba, it's easier for you because they are saying that. Uh, but, but, if you, you, but if you start are, speaking, are, are, but if you start speaking Yoruba, you still give them a name that is not Yoruba. And if they don't want to give you the card because you're not Yoruba, no, they don't give you because you're not Yoruba. They will make Yoruba. it very easier for you to give you because I know the the, the games they are playing. How do you how do you that. know this? Did you experience this yourself? Yes, because they'll be saying it now. There are some of their agents. They will be saying it. You know, see, there's nothing. No, 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 no. Did you personally, gong, gong, yes, gong, you experienced yes, it yes. yourself, Vincent? Yes. Where? Where did you experience it? All right, then. Thank you very much for calling. Again, like I said, I'm not saying that people are not having these experiences in different INEC of, uh, um, offices. Uh, it could be incompetence. It could be corruption because all wants to get a bribe. It could be malicious because they are trying to do voter suppression. But when you talk to senior INEC officials, they're telling you that they're on top of it. They're trying to fix it, etc., etc. However, it doesn't appear like some of the junior staff who are actually manning these offices at INEC um, are getting the memo from senior management. But I love that you're seeing something and you're saying something. Make sure that wherever you go and you're noticing weird behavior, take videos, put it online, tag me. My social media handle is S. Ezekwesili. I've got 62,000 followers on Twitter. I will blow it up for you. But let the video that you're taking make sense. Let me actually see a crime being committed in that video. Someone stopping you from getting your PVC because you're your, your Igbo or your uh, Fulani or your Cross River or your Rivers. You know, let, I want to see, let's see these things you're complaining about. It's not a, enough to be like Vincent and call me, oh, it's happening. If you don't speak Yoruba, oh, oh, oh. And then you ask Vincent, where did it happen? What's the name of the place? Vincent will hang up the call. You know, so I know that we're hearing all kinds of things. We're reading all kinds of things in our WhatsApp groups. I'm not saying they're not happening, but I'm going to need us to be a bit more 
um, informative when we call to complain about these things. You can be anonymous, but give me as much information as possible. What's the name of the place? What location? Uh, did you catch the name of the INEC staff? We're too worried about getting people into trouble. We're too worried about getting people to lose their jobs. People should be afraid of losing their jobs. If they lose their jobs and there's a fear that you lose your job because you are incompetent or you're a buffoon or you are corrupt, more people will sit up. Here at Nigeria Info, we don't do anyhow because you're worried that you do anyhow, you lose your job. So that needs to get into public sector as well. But if we keep protecting the people who are wronging us in different, in different public sector uh, institutions, how do we expect it to get, get better? We are part of the problem. You see something, you say something, you name the person. Don't manage, don't adjust, don't support mediocrity. See something, say something, and say it with your full chest if you're sure. Name the name of the person, the place, the when, the time. If you have video evidence, put it out. That's how it's done. Femi is on the line. Hi, Femi. Hello, Madam Sarah. Good morning. Oh, I'm sorry. Good afternoon. Good to afternoon. You. Um, Welcome. Yeah, I I listened to um, I'm Femi calling from Dallas. Welcome. I listened to the I had to wake up to listen to uh, Sherry Van der Kayamo, mm. and I think it's quite it's some somewhat like a show of shame. Like these guys, they don't really take Nigerians serious, and that's the problem I have with them. And Madam Sada, the root of this problem is just because these guys, they depend on the wow. Nigerians that don't understand their rights. That's why they believe that their bulk vote is going to come from. Mm. And I think I would just encourage the elite Nigerians to come out and vote. Mm. Because the reason, the, the, that's, that's the main reason why these guys are showing the media, because they believe they might, a lot of Nigerians are illiterate, let me just say it like that. Okay. And they believe that their vote is going to, go, is going to come from this bulk of people. Mm. And that's why they don't want to come to the media. For instance, if someone like Tinebu and the rest of them, Matiku and the rest of them, comes mm. to the media, mm. that's when we can ask them questions mm. and they can give us answers. That's when we can praise them for answers. Mm. And that's why someone like Kayamu is going to come on radio and believe we can just shout on people and believe we can do whatever he likes. It's just, I'm just so annoyed and so angry with that interview. Mm. But I would just urge Nigerians, I would just plead with Nigerians, please, the, especially the allies that understand what is going on in the country, mm -hmm. please come out and vote. Mm. You understand? Because this, it depends on market women, they depend on uh, the hard barrels, they depend on people that they can give 10,000, 20,000, you understand, just to just to take their votes or just to take their rights away from them. Mm. And the moment they pay you, they are taking your future, they are, they are taking your future benefit from you. That's mm. that's just my pain. Please, Nigerians. Right. Oh. oh, sorry about that. Femi, thank you so much for calling from Dallas. 99.3, hello. Good afternoon, Sandra. Good afternoon, welcome. This is Adeshewa from Ekuruti. Adeshewa, welcome. See, what that person said before the last caller, mm. I won't, I won't want to dispute it because it happened to one of my colleagues just yesterday. Okay. So when he came to school, that place is at Ipakodo, mm. Ipakodo Primary School mm. in Ikorodu. And both of us are going back there tomorrow because I said I will be there tomorrow. What they told him, they would leave in front of me. And I'll take videos and I'll take first notes. And I'll send it to you. Mm. Because they, he, he told me that, the person told him that uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the mistake is from Abuja. Somebody that they've, uh, they've, they've registered and they said uh, they, uh, you can't get it again no, because of the name. And they said, Where are you from? They said, It's from Edo. They said, uh, Your PVC is no more here. I, I started telling him that. So I was so angry this morning. No. Mm. But I told him we are going back there tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Both of us. So just let me be your voice. Uh, let me be your eyes tomorrow. My eye and my ear. Thank you. Thank then the you. second one, mm. that's uh, Kiamo. This one, see, is today I actually know. The tolerance level of sheriff this morning is today. Mm. I actually know that. No, no, I give it to that guy. Mm. In fact, I don't know. This set of camera was once a a a a a, 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 a human rights activist. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was shouting. He was just rubbing it in, and sheriff was just trying to like be calm and all the rest, and he was just shouting. How many people do you want to shout at? You know, yeah. millions of to you. This, if it, if at this morning, if you see what my my children saw, the anger in me because if I call this morning, in fact, I know a a, a Kiamo will have. In fact, maybe I will have been in his blackbook this morning. I don't understand. Somebody just asked you a simple question. 
You want to rub it too because you don't want to answer it. You are not rubbing it on sharing that. Uh, is it not the one that you, is it? Oh, just sure. Sorry about that. I thought this our network Mohala is no longer a Mohala. We've got Ngozi on the line. Hi, Ngozi. Good to have you on the show. Uh-huh. Good afternoon, Sandra. Good Wonder. afternoon. Welcome. In fact, make her leave English language first. <laughs> uh, uh, waiting happen. Waiting happen. This morning, I was awake listening to that interview. Hmm. Ah! I used to have a lot of respect for Kiyamo. But today, I lost all respect for that man. I used to think he was out there fighting for human rights. But today, the way he was shouting, shouting at them, uh, Sheriff, because I'm a big fan of uh, Sheriff and uh, Jimmy Disu. So most times I'm awake listening to them. Right. But this morning, it clearly shows you and tells Nigerians a lot. The only thing is that I beg Nigerians to please come out and do the rightful thing. Ah, enough is enough. Wait till be this one now. I see this country belongs to a group of a, just a few set of people. Ah, ah. I, as up to now, my mouth is open for waiting I hear for that interview. A lot of people should go back and listen to that interview. Ngozi, thank you so much for calling Lagos. Of course, you can listen to that interview on our website, nigeriainfo.fm, or just go to our Facebook or YouTube and watch it live. Let's go to WhatsApp now, where we have lots of comments. Uh, Sandra, why is it that APC spokesperson was shouting? Did he think that Sheriff knows how to shout? He thinks they can bully everyone. Sheriff's patience uh, uh, was legendary. Damian from Shogunle with that message there. We've got um, someone here who says, that the Last caller is not saying the truth. INEC doesn't discriminate because I was there today. Some Igbo guys were there and they got their PVC. Badebo Rhodes Viva, the Labour Party can uh, governorship candidate, was present. He came in with his entourage while we were still waiting. He's lying, Sandra. It is not true. I collected my PVC today, but the Wahala I went through getting it today no be here. INEC took my card very far away from where I registered to Ijeshate Doitire. If not uh, PVC, I swear I forgive up, but I got it. Yay! I'm happy for you. Congratulations. I've got this message here. Hello, Sandra. Oh, finally, I've collected my PVC at my new polling unit where I transferred to in Bayeku, Korodu. This new pattern of collecting PVC now is bearing fruit. Einek, keep it up, please. All right. Thank you for your message. You didn't leave your name there, but thank you. We've got Hyacinth from Ikorodu who says, I'd expected you to ask the lady who claimed to be visually impaired to give you a specific address and location of the INEC office in Ikorodu. Ikorodu is vast. You cannot just say Ikorodu without being specific. You did not even ask her if she has the name of the police or INEC staff. Hyacinth from Ikorodu with that message there. Well, I'm sure she can call back and give us that information. Uh, this message is from Emmanuel Mbagada. Emmanuel says, that man saying that they are tribalistic is not saying the truth except he had a personal experience i didn't see mine after trying on several occasions to get it but to no avail i then decided to ensure the process was smooth in my ward at ifaka comprehensive school bagada lagos by working as a support staff to the INEC personnel present i and my friends all came around to ensure it was easy and stress-free i urge nigerians to come out support the INEC personnel present ensure the process is easy for everybody around emmanuel from bagada with that message there uh Shaif from Ikorodu says, I went to my ward to get my PVC. Apparently, I made transfer and replacements of my voter's card. My card was found, but I was not giving. I was asked to go and swear affidavit to get it. This is weird. Hmm. It is weird. Did you ask them why they needed an, aff an affidavit uh, for you to be able to collect it? I honestly want to know why. So uh, maybe if you, if you go back, please f find out why they need you. Um, to sue an affidavit before collecting your, your PVC. That's a new one, and it, and it is weird. All right, we'll take a break. When we come back from this break, I'll take more messages from social media. Uh, I've got so many messages. I, I do hope I'll have the time to get into all of them. I'm Sandra Ezekwesili. Share your thoughts with us on Twitter, on Facebook, and on WhatsApp. Stay one step ahead with the latest.
disciple of Kudu, Lagos. So, this place will be free. Everybody will be free from Agbura. Lagos will free from Gosolo. Lagos will free from flood. Where they pull everywhere inside rain. And they never get solution for her. Lagos will free from bad, bad road. Then Lagos will free from local, local market. We don't get time. Lagos will free for every way to shell for inside Gosolo. But in our hand, we go use to choose better life for ourselves. Oh. Vote for Jando. Make we come out Lagos for one individual hand. We go summer everybody for. Vote for governor. We go get mind of himself. We go be proud of every time, every day. Fight for Lagos. Fight for your right. Jafe ko jafe to eh. Vote PDP. PDP power. power. Oga landlord, calm down. Eh, hey, officer, that one, I beg you for your loan. Before you carry this criminal home, make him pay my rent first. Oh. <laughs> Oga landlord, they know they carry me go anywhere. In fact, eh, now my personal security for this. My life don't change. Eh, hey, your wife been telling me, say, I won't sell the house for 150 million naira. Take her. I'll be cash for this. Yeah, now lie, yo. Now true, Oga landlord. With the one win for mega millions like Jal Lottery. Ha, ha. My life will change, oh! Mega millions lottery! Hey, hey, you'll be so, eh? Why is this place, eh? Oh, now nah, don't hear him! Oh, yeah, Shapali visit www.megamillionsnigeria.com to register, play, and win! This message is brought to you by Mega Millions Niger. Play it, win it, not for those under 18. It's a new dog from Nigeria, oh, Becca, Becca, from me. It's a new dawn in Nigeria. The firmament portent, a bright future, as the people of Nigeria move to vote a man whom they have come to trust. That man is Ashuaju Bola Tinubu. Vote Bola Tinubu as president of Nigeria. Vote Kashim Shetima as vice president. Vote APC. Bring this song back to all Nigerians. Welcome back. says the people managing this country if you put your life into their hands they'll waste it it's better we all find a way to protect ourselves if you have the means go out of the country upon all orders and promises from mr president about solving security issues before he leaves office we're still experiencing these kidnappings uh nigerians don't waste your lives don't depend on the people managing this country they will lift you and land you yakata on the ground please tell these people to go to INEC office or wherever they're getting their pvc from go there with a secret recording device and record these acts get proof and show it to nigerians through nigeria info let's see how INEC will defend that they're always denying these allegations why is it that nigerians don't know what to do but complain 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 we keep on accepting rubbish shenwade with that message on um, WhatsApp. Uh, we've got Adewale who says, with all these tribal sentiments, it is enough for everyone to bear in Papa name. I don't know what that means, but thanks for your message. Uh, we've got a message here from Tony Anneli Nijagamo. Tony says, there's nothing to debunk. In addressing matters of public interest. Okay. Uh, Austin from Ikorodu says, concerning the collection of PVC, I next should try and extend the date till February 10th to enhance mass massive collection. Okay. Uh, we've got this message here. Oh my God, there's so many messages. Wow. Huh. Okay. Uh, Sandra, my wife tried to collect her PVC for two days, Saturday and Sunday at Oshodi Solo, Ikota area. Uh, she really couldn't enter the kitchen after she came back. Sandra, she still didn't get the card. Though. These guys, News. these guys are too slow. She had to resume work today. Anthony Waka from Agor Palace we, with that message there. Well, as you could hear, that's my cue to switch. Bring you business news. After business news, checkpoint will take take the air. I'm Sandra S. Zakwasili. This is Hard Facts on 99.3 Nigeria Info.
Then I want to assume that you would run because I want to give the listeners context for the conversation. In 2019, you were running links to um, Atiku Abubakar. What did you learn then that you will not repeat this time? Ed, when is the president coming out to address us? There's a few things. One, I have a burden and a passion for young people. The fact that you have elected a man does not mean then you begin to order him around. The president will do whatever is good for the country at any given time. Mr. Adeshino, isn't the president responsible to the people? What should the next president do to root out stakeholders who are complicit? You fire them. Those that need to be fired, they're fired. It's looking like the brand new Chelsea attacking with so much fluidity. And what can you say about that, Martin? I know you follow Chelsea quite closely. I live close to the Chelsea training ground. That's what you mean by that. I'm not <laughs> a Chelsea.